Manually resizing windows can be a pain, especially if it's the same programs you use frequently, which you would also prefer to be in specific spots on your monitor. Hey, how is everyone? Today I'm going to show you how to write a script that will allow you to perfectly resize windows or programs onto your monitor in just one click. This should take you no longer than three minutes to write once you know what you're doing, and I'll walk you through everything so you will be a pro at writing your script to suit your needs. This can work for multiple monitors and for as many windows as you'd like. In this video, I'm going to show you what to do for two windows on a single monitor, but you'll understand how to multiply it from there. As an example, writing this script is great for Minecraft split screen, as I've shown in previous videos. To get started, we will need to download AutoHotKey. This is a very useful tool that can allow you to do pretty much anything. For the purpose of this video, I will show you enough basic programming that you will be able to customize your script for your needs. First, download the current version of AutoHotKey and follow the steps. I already have it downloaded, so I will skip this. Now, anywhere on your desktop, right click, go to New AutoHotKey Script. Rename it to Window Resize Tool. Right click on this and go down to Edit Script. Notepad is where we will actually write our script. Leave everything that's already there by default. I will now write the whole script and once I'm done, I'll go back and explain everything line by line so you can understand and reproduce it for your particular use. Before I go into what makes it work, I will show you that it does in fact work. Even if the windows are minimized or the wrong size, running the script again will properly align them so you won't have to start over and reopen your windows from scratch. All right, so let's start with the first line. Set title match mode comma two. This basically allows you to call out a window without needing the full identical name. For example, if we wanted to call out this notepad window, the two allows us to say just notepad instead of window resize tool dash notepad. Make sure to match all values exactly. If there's an uppercase letter, make sure it stays uppercase. Next, we'll get into if else statements. Basically, if condition A exists, then conclusion B will be carried out. If condition A does not exist, conclusion C will be carried out. In our script, if the window exists named player one, this window will be activated. For the first time running the program, this most likely will not be the case. So we'll look down to the else. Win set title basically allows you to change the name of a particular window to be something different. We will have win set title followed by a comma, then the name of the window that you want to change. In this case, it will be Minecraft. After that will be a comma, blank, another comma, then the name that you want to change it to, in this case, player one. Make sure to enclose these conditions in brackets as shown. Now that the else statement will be chosen, the script will move down to the next part of the code. Win wait basically tells the script to wait for this window, player one, before moving to the next step. Win move will move and resize a given window. So I start with win move. I tell the window I want to resize, and then I input some parameters. The 00, zero refer to the XY coordinates. The top left of your screen is the origin 00. zero. Then we will need the width of the screen followed by the height. For this script, I want the two Minecraft windows to be split screen in the horizontal configuration. My monitor is 1920 by 1080 pixels, so my width is 1920. Since I want this window to be half the size of the monitor, I will do 1080 divided by two, which will be 540. You'll notice I also subtracted an additional 10 pixels to make this 530. This is because the taskbar takes up some room, so I want to ignore the taskbar. Now you have player one done, and we can move on to player two. It will be identical to the first part aside from a few minor differences. Change all of the player one references to player two. Go to win move and make sure to change the Y coordinate. We want this window to be halfway down the screen just below the player one window. So we leave the X at zero and the Y will be 520. 
I found through some trial and error to get the windows perfectly split, it should start at half of the screen minus 20 pixels. The width will be the same, 1920, and the height will be the same, 530. At the last line of the program, you must have return. This tells the script when to turn off. To improve this script for any monitor that isn't necessarily 1920 by 1080 pixel, I will show you how you can modify this. Leave everything besides the lines that contain win move. For the first window, player 1, leave the coordinates 0, 0. We want to change the width and the height parameters. In the width section, change this to A underscore screen width. This phrase takes the internal value of your monitor's width and inputs it into this field. In the height section, we will put in the following formula. A underscore screen height times 0.5 minus 10. Basically, we are saying we want half of the height of the monitor minus 10 pixels, again because of the taskbar. For the second window, player 2, the X coordinate will stay 0. The Y coordinate will be A underscore screen height times 0.5 minus 20. This will have the second window start just below the first. Again, change the width section to A underscore screen width. The height will be the same as above, A underscore screen height times 0.5 minus 10. You can see it works the same as before, so depending on your monitor, you may prefer this approach. If you want the windows to be split screen in the vertical configuration, all you have to do is adjust the wind move lines. Feel free to play around with this until you get the two windows to your desired sizes. To make the script even easier to use, you can right click and go to Compile Script. This basically creates an executable file that you can double click. This application will automatically run the script and close itself out when completed. You can also put it on your taskbar for a simple one-click option. So that's how to easily write a script to resize programs and windows anywhere on your computer, even if they have the same name. This video took me a very long time to record and edit, so anything you can do to help my channel out, I would really appreciate. If you found this helpful, please let me know down in the comments. And if you have any video suggestions or ideas, I'd love to hear them. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.